Hi class, today for my how-to speech, I'm going to be making a recipe that has been in my family for a long time. More specifically, I'm going to demonstrate how to make blueberry buckle. You might be wondering what blueberry buckle is. Blueberry buckle is a type of warm cake with a crunchy cinnamon topping. Like I said, blueberry buckle has been in my family for a long time. It's We brought it to every occasion, family gatherings, dinners, um... We even brought it to potluck. Sometimes we even had it just as a snack around the house. I saw a lot of cooking ideas in the discussion board when we were trying to come up with ideas, and I, I can't wait to see what you guys come up with. I love food, I love cooking, and I'm really excited to see what you guys make. So, let's get it started. First, you want to preheat your oven to 375. Next, you're going to want to lightly grease and lightly flour uh, whatever pan you're going to be using for to make the buckle in. Um, you don't have to use the pan that I'm using. It, you can double it to fit the pan. Like, it's not, it's not a big deal. You're just going to have to, like, whatever you have around the house is whatever you have. I mean, I'm using a bread, a simple bread, uh, eight inches deep, um, so... But whatever you have around the house, use that. It's not, the recipe doesn't call for a specific pan. Uh, next, in a medium sized bowl, you're gonna wanna, you're gonna wanna cream together a third cup of sugar and two tablespoons of butter. Buckle has actually been around. It's it's a close cousin to the cobbler, so it's been around since like the early settlers, and they used to make they used to make cobbler butter. Um, I mean not butter. They used to make cobbler for like meals and stuff. So it's been around for a long time. You want to combine you want to combine the sugar and butter till it's nice and fluffy, and you're gonna want to set that aside. Next, you're going to want to sift together flour, baking powder, and salt. I already combined flour, baking powder, and salt. I just got to sift it together. So we're going to sift that together. This is my little sifter. I got it at Hanford. In case you need a sifter, because I didn't have one. Tap the sides, get it all down. It even has a little holder. Then I'm going to put that in the bowl. Then you're going to add your fourth cup of milk. your egg, and your fluffy butter sugar mixture. Um, you can also use shortening. We never use shortening. Shortening is all fat. I looked it up and it kind of takes away, it kind of takes some of the flavor out of whatever you're, whatever you're making. So in this case, a short, shortening isn't that important because it's all the, all the, you're going to lose some of the flavor in the buckle, which, and it's, you can add vanilla to make it sweeter, but shortening would overall decrease the sweetness and it's a kind of a sweet dish so I just want to make I just want to point that out so then you're gonna mix what you just combined let me get my my mixing I don't have a a, a big fancy mixer like some people do so it's gonna be kind of loud in here for a second I apologize
that's nice and creamy. It should be good. And you should be all set to add your blueberries. Blueberries. Um, you can do this with any fruit. It doesn't have to be blueberries. You can use, I don't know. I saw one for, when I saw one for blueberry pineapple buckle. You can apple buckle, which is kind of like apple crisp. So it, it's all, it's all, it's all up to you, honestly. I mean, I just use blueberries because that's what I'm used to making it with. So, so you're going to want to use one cup of blueberries. Fold, fold that together. Get a spatula. They call it buckle because the cream, because the the crumb topping kind of weight the crumb topping and the blueberries weight weigh it down. So, so once once it gets weighed down in the oven, it starts to crumble, and that's that's where the name blueberry that's where the name buckle comes from. So then you're going to get that and then you should be ready to put it in your pan. Spread it around nice and even so it cooks evenly. Then you're going to want to set that aside. Now we're going to make the crumb topping that goes on top. So you're going to want to add a fourth cup of sugar and a tablespoon or so of cinnamon, fourth cup of flour, and two tablespoons of butter. Sorry, it's going to get loud in here again. and crumbly you're gonna get that sorry it's all nice and crumbly see then you're gonna sprinkle that evenly on top of your loaf
Once your oven's preheated to 375, you're going to throw it in the oven for about 40 to 50 minutes. Check it periodically with a toothpick until the metal's clean. And I will post the recipe uh, either in the comments under the video or where or in the Google folder with my outline. Thank you guys.